In this lesson, we'll discuss how V-Ray Next support for rendering dispersion on GPU can help you to create photorealistic looking images while harnessing the power of GPU rendering. In physics, dispersion is the effect that occurs when white light travels through a refractive object like a prism or diamond and separates into colors. Now, we can achieve this effect while rendering on GPU in V-Ray Next for SketchUp. Let's get started by opening up the Asset Editor and in the Settings tab, switching over to the GPU engine. Now we can start an interactive render, and then let's draw a render region around our gemstone, as we'll be concentrating on that specifically. Also, note that I have enabled the NVIDIA AI Denoiser to help speed up our preview. As you can see, we have a dual ring, but there is no visible dispersion coming from the gem since the dispersion effect is off by default. To fix this, let's return to the Material tab in the Asset Editor and select the gem material. In its parameters on the right, we should make sure that the advanced options are enabled and then expand the refraction rollout. In there, you'll find the dispersion parameter. Toggle the switch on to enable it. At first, you'll see the effect is subtle and barely visible. This is because our aberration number, represented by the AVE parameter, is too high. If we lower it, then the effect widens and becomes more visible. Let's lower it down to around 20, and we'll begin to see some more colors refracting in the gym. Let's now lower it again to a value of around 5, and we'll see the effect widens and spreads even more. Now if we lower it down to 1, we'll see the effect becomes very strong and noticeable, with the diamond appearing to reflect a large spectrum of colors throughout. Now, the effect is way over the top, so let's take a step back and adjust the Abbe to something more subtle, like 30. All right. Let's also remove the render region so we can see the full effect. Next, let's open up the lens effects by clicking on the lens icon at the bottom of the VFB. In V-Ray Next, we have overhauled the lens effects to simplify the interface and make it easier to add powerful camera lens effects like bloom and glare to your renders. Let's explore how we can use the lens effects to enhance our image even further, starting with activating the bloom and glare effect. If we zoom in on the gym, we can clearly see the glare effect has appeared on the gold. I'd like to tweak this effect now a bit further. One way we can do that is by slightly blurring out the streaks. For example, let's test out a few different values for the streak blur effect. At first, the effect is subtle, but as I increase it, you'll see that this makes the glare rays less sharp and directional and more soft and blended together. In this case, I'm gonna leave it at 0.25 since I want the effect to be somewhat subtle and the glare effect is usually not so perfectly sharp in real life. This is due to dust in the air and on the lens of the camera, which distorts the effect. To help create this effect in V-Ray, we can also enable the obstacle image checkbox, which can be used to simulate dirt and scratches on the camera lens. I'm going to load in a texture from the asset folder here called Noise, and you'll see how this adds some additional noise and distortion to the lens effects. Altogether, the redesigned lens effects and support for GPU rendering of dispersion in V-Ray Next for SketchUp gives you powerful controls and flexibility for creating stunning-looking images very quickly.